Uh, kindly forgive one of your biggest fans Thank if you. she's being over the top or if she mispronounces some words. And um, but I'm so starstruck right now, and I might never get this opportunity again. So, sir, please explain yourself. How can someone be so astonishingly good looking and charismatic and even more implausibly uh, brilliant and intelligent at the same time? Sir, please spill some secrets. <laughs> you are very sweet and very kind and generous. But all I can say is there are things you can't help and there are things that you can train yourself to do. So. The way you look and all of that, honestly, all I can say is choose your parents wisely. It's all in the genes. Thank you, sir. It's all in the genes. But everything else, you should work at it. I mean, I must say that, uh, that you know, reading, as I explained earlier, became a habit in childhood. I've kept it up and therefore I've read a lot, so I think I know a lot because I've retained a lot of what I've read. I, I am proud to say that. Uh, that it wasn't always easy speaking fluently before a bunch of strangers, but speaking before an audience. But once you've done it often enough, you develop the confidence. And particularly when you know that your ideas are clear and it's a question of expressing them before people, then that's something you get to do. But you have to practice it by doing it. Uh, there's no foolproof thing and you can't sit at home and practice in front of a mirror. You have to go out in front of a real audience and talk to real people and see how they react. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work, and then you have to go ahead and uh, and come back with, uh, with 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 you know an occasional blush on your face because you didn't do so well. But then at the end of it, you will come back and get better at it. So some things you have to keep working at. Some things, as I say, you know, thank the Maker, thank the Lord, that that's what you are. Thanks very much.